Based on the priority, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And this is for the agents. Another thing is, if there is any holiday, do we expect any um, agents to be working on that? If it is 24 by 7, agents will be working. No, otherwise, no. No, right. So, what do we say? Even to the yeah. end user, we say, I mean, even to the end user, it is notified that it is a holiday today and they will pick it up on the next consecutive three business days or whatever the business time that has been come, right? Specifically. Yes. Yeah. So, if, if, if it is a holiday, what they would say is, it would be covered in the immediate business hours. And other thing is we can define the schedule. Alright. Yes. So for the yeah. leaves that it has. Oh. Now let's consider. So I mean you have idea about SLS, right? Meaning to say that yes, if yes. no service should go get reached or no service should get unanswered. I mean, you know, I mean, it's like kind of an agreement, like, you know, if this is what it is, we will get this result in this specific time. So it's like yes, a different yes, standard yes. of time that an agent could take to resolve, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Now let's define SLA in asset management table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you get to hear any background noise from my <coughs> Yes, yes. A kind of. Uh, yeah, I think that's all construction going on. I tried to avoid him just a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No? Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Start with the SLS now. Yeah. Okay. On the asset management table, what are we going to say? See, see, there are going to be two types of SLA. One could be response SLA, and another one could be the resolution SLA. Sometimes yes, yes, yes. the client can ask either to have both. Either have both response and resolution SLA. Okay. Or only resolution SLA. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to configure uh, resolution SLA. Response SLA means nothing. See, response SLA is not going to be uh, based on the priority. It's just that you're going to define response SLA, put SLA, and put the target table. Okay, then what okay. are you going okay. to do is, what are you going to do is that the moment, the moment any incident is assigned, right? That and Pawni, yeah, yeah. Uh, like if we create SLA for incident table, suppose we are in mm -hmm. a, uh, extending incident table while creating a custom table. So yes, these are yes. yeah, okay, okay, okay. If like if you like uh, if we are extending some, suppose if you are creating SLA for task table, and we are extending task table while creating a customized table for our requirement. So the SLS uh, which was created on task table will be also inherited to our table or? No, no, no. First of all, task table wouldn't have any SLS. Okay. okay. <laughs> wouldn't have any SLS. And okay. one second. It, it, you cannot even extend the 
SLAs to any other table. You have to specifically okay. build the SLA for those tables. Okay. 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 So the okay. solution SLA would be nothing, right? The response, I mean, like, sorry, the response SLA is nothing. As in when an in, uh, an uh, ticket is created and assigned to the specific group, that group, somebody from part of that group should respond. Right. Yes, yes. Saying that, hey, yeah. you know what, this ticket has been raised. Uh, we will go ahead and get this address as soon as possible. Right. Oh. Something like that. Now, I'm configuring the resolution SLA. So, SLAs will always be based on the priority because, on dependent on the priority, the SLAs will be configured. All right. They they would say how you do you know how they would say they'd say based on the priority, go ahead and configure the SLAs like. If it's a P1 SLA, it should be uh, defined within uh, eight hours of time. Let me just yes. uh, put that in. Yes. So they will say, your client will say, if it's a P1 incident, it should be addressed within one hour. Okay? okay. Meaning to say, if there is any breach, it will be considered as well. Uh, you know, the team handling this will take the time to get some of the incident. So, if I use the uh, uh, specified duration that it has to get addressed or resolved. Yes, right? yes. Yes, yes, yes. And if it is P2 incident, they are going to say it is it should be A class. Okay. Okay. And if it's P3 incident, it would be yes. It depends on them, but it's the standard. Yeah. I've I've seen, but it depends on them, but it it is the standard uh thing. They can even extend the P1. They can even say 16 hours. They can even say this one is 20 yes, hours. Yes, yes, yes. They can even say another one is. That depends on the client entirely. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. And P4 means, for our example, I'm just considering that it should be two days. Okay? Now, so okay. let's consider first one. First, consider one SLA so that you can consider the other two as well. Now, okay. so what I'm saying is that we are creating resolution SLA for in asset management table based on the priority right so yes yes what what should it be P1 resolution okay. or I can even say like this P1 resolution. P1 resolution. This is SLA. And target is, you can see that it is response and resolution. I'm saying resolution. Okay. okay. Then table that it would take is asset management table. Flow is, there is something that <coughs> But what we would define is that it is the SLA notification and the escalation flow because so once the SLA is reached and we do not have anybody at this point, it should be escalated to this group's manager, right? Yes, yes, yes. It should notify them, correct? So yeah, yeah. I'm going to choose something called as SLA notification and escalation. Then, so we are having uh, some basic flows. Okay, okay. okay, we are having basic flows, meaning to say this this is a workflow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. If I open this, this is a flow designer. Okay, they have. Okay, okay, okay. They have configured this in flow designer. Okay, okay fine. Let me keep this to default flow. Then it will okay. be work. Okay, one second. Mm. Uh, this one. So. Mm. I think this is also is going to be a flow designer, not workflow. Mm. But one thing is, if in comparison, see, now flow designer is the new topic. Okay. Okay. But it is okay. not consistent in. Service now. We haven't configured much in service now because, because I mean it is inconsistent. You cannot have number of subflows subflows in them. I will try to show what happens what happens with the workflow. All right. 
Ya, ya, ya. Jadi, uh, ya. And Pawni, in general, for interviews, they will ask like, uh, have you worked on uh, SLA module like that? So yes. along with that, they ask some, uh, have you worked on escalations? Uh, do you trigger some escalations like that? That, that yeah. means like creation of SLAs or some other things will be added in that like the creation of SLAs and specifically see in this flow you see default SLAs same thing will be configured in the default okay. so that means okay. 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 default okay. SLA means it's it it's a specific person under the SLA function which is what it has is it comes to the SLA default and it is it gives the warning to the assigned person okay that you know what it has breached to 50 percent and uh, you haven't worked upon that when you isolate it breached to 75 percent what happens is in this in this parameter it will trigger to the again it gets triggered to the assigned to person only once okay. the sla it waits it waits for the condition you need to say it has completely finished one hours and the sl and the incident or the ticket has not gone to resolve or something what happens it gets breached okay yeah 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 so in the SLA record, you have some attribute called as breach, and it will be checked. So that's true. So what it does is, now it checks for the SLA, then it is going to trigger to the assigned to person. I mean, like, okay. according to the assigned to person and as well as to the manager. If assigned to is different to manager of assigned to, then it is going to trigger the SLA to the manager of the assigned to. Right? Okay. okay. So we need so to we configure a uh, workforce. We also need to configure workflows along with that, like if you need some customizations. Yes, yes. when we, when, to be very, very honest with you, when I, when I started, uh, you know, I just defined SLAs like you know, six months back. Till then, it was only okay. workflow, it was not flow. Okay, okay, okay. Now, okay. I'll just save this. I'll see if okay. we can get workflow here, okay? So that I'll okay. show you okay. the okay. Yeah. 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 Now, what will be our priority? Priority is going to be one, right? And okay. scheduled sources actually definition. And here we are going to give some schedule, right? Okay. Meaning to say it can differ from anywhere, right? Now here yes, I'm yes. going to say eight to five days, weekdays. Okay. It, it eight to, to five means timing, service time, right? Eight to five. Yeah. yeah. Like eight to five weekdays or do we Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday, weekdays. Hold on. 8 to 5 excluding holidays if i do 8 to 5 okay wait 8 to 5 excluding holidays i'm taking and i'm saving let's see what's there in this specific table schedule one more thing see your client can give you a different schedule they can say make it 9 to 6 weekdays excluding holiday and you don't have that in the schedule uh table that is cmn schedule table okay you wouldn't have okay, okay. so what you do you come to this table uh, here and then you have to configure right they yes, will give yes, you yes. all the list of holidays like uh, it could be christmas it could be new year it could be there whatever their days are right you know martin king luther day whatever their days are right yeah bank yes, holiday whatever their days are they will it they'll give so what you do is once you put the eight to five or in our case it is nine to six right yes then yes. what you do is in child schedule entries, what you're going to do once you enter the schedule, in child schedule entry, if you see Monday to Friday, 8 to 5, meaning to say that here you have to create like, you know, when it will start and when it would end. Okay, okay. Started right? and ended. If you say it is 2008 and here it is, end date is 208079, uh, right? Every weekday, Monday to Friday, right? Okay. Here you can set it to indefinite, like yeah. something like yes, you know, yes, 2020 yes. and something so on. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then once you create that, you have to create a child schedule, meaning to say the holidays. Like okay. now, what is the US holidays that they are given? In this child schedule, you will get all the holiday entries. Okay, okay, right? okay, okay. If you see okay. this, it has Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, Columbus, Independence Day, Labor, Martin Luther King Day, whatsoever, New Year's Day, President's Day, everything. And it has a date as well, if you see. 
Yes, yes, yeah. Right, 25th, 24th, Christmas Eve, uh, their Independence Day, everything. And it, this, these days repeats only once in a year, right? Yes, 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 yes. And it ends on the very same day. So if you see, it is starting at 12 a.m. and ending at the same day, 11, 59, 59 second, seconds. Seconds. Right? Yeah. yeah. So these schedules, right, it will be provided to you by your client. Okay. Okay. So this or will be service day, times and hold. Business service times and business holidays. Right? Exactly, business. exactly. So what happens now? I raised an incident on twenty third. Okay. So my priority was two, and it will take two days to be answered. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So now I'm saying eight to five means two days means. How will you consider that? Eight to five is like uh, twelve hours, I guess. Uh, so it will be like. Uh, no, 8 to 5 is 12 hours, 8 to 5 is 9 hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? 9 hours, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if I say 2 days, 24 hours will have. Yes, so what will happen? 23rd it will pick, 8 to 5 it would have worked. And the next day, it will get paused here because it is leave and it is a holiday. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. And the 26th day it is going to take, right? Yes, yes, yes. So these things they'll give or they will even say whatever they'll, they'll say refer attach the same schedule which is there in the system because see, this is our personal PDI these, these are the details we have they might already have an existing child schedules created and the holidays listed they will say use that so you can use okay, that okay. in place here right okay, in the okay. SLA yeah and one more thing SLA is this child schedules right SLA will get captured in updates it but not the schedules you have to export the xml keep that in. okay okay okay, okay. Uh, next thing is call us time zone time zone sources call us time zone right yes 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 and the request is time zone okay. yeah yeah if you see here it is request as time zone then it will be SLA definition time zone not necessary because our SLA definition time zone is not necessary because duration type we have not given anything right Yes, yes. And CI location not necessary. Caller's location time zone is not necessary. You have to see it's caller's time zone. Okay. And oh. if it is a, if if the caller's time zone is not specified, and if the user tables they have only the location like in my user table, let me just open. It. I have a time zone. Okay, that is yes, 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 yes. time zone. If I didn't have a time zone specified here, from the location it would have fetched my time zone. Okay? No, okay. So that is another condition. Now Let's close this. Then, when do you think the SLA will start? And what is the duration of even SLA? We said it is one hour, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, start condition will be when will it start? When the ticket arrives. Yes. So can I say active is true? Yeah, yeah. And another thing. Resolution. Yeah. P1. Yes, sir. Priority. Priority is P1, right? Yeah, yeah. Then, and then I say, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we had already taken the activist tool, right? That's it. Yes. And then I say, one second. Retroactive start means what I'm going to say is that there are situations where this priority once the incident will get created, right? Okay. okay. And then the priority will be P1. Okay. But somebody says it's not P1 and they are going to put as P2 or P3 or P4. Okay. okay. Now, if the retroactive start is not uh, selected, what will happen is it was P1, is, it picked, yeah, it was P1, it picked one SLA, and then it is P2, it would pick P2 SLA, okay, that's yes, fine, yes. 
but it will not take the consideration from the time that the record was created. It will take fresh leaf. Now it is right. E1 is one hour. Okay. Okay. After half an hour, after half an hour, it is getting to change to P2. So what will happen? This will get cancelled and P2 SLA will get attached. Okay. Okay. So okay. Now let's say P2 SLA is eight hours. Okay. So what it is going to do is it is not going to exclude the half an hour from the time yes, the ticket yes, was already created. It will take eight hours into consideration. But I don't want yes, that to happen. I want yeah, yeah. the time to be considered from the time it was created. So it gets attached to a P2 SLA. Then the time Time that they have is seven and a half hours, right? Because yes, 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 yes. Customers to wait. Yeah, yeah. So this is retroactive start and retroactive pause. Now, so every time it will be, every time we, uh, it would be better we enable these uh, flags while creating a solution. Yes, yes. So when okay. to cancel means when I am saying I have already defined my start conditions, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I don't have to explicitly again say my cancel conditions. I'm going to say start conditions are not met. Okay. Because I already configured this. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, if the yes. start conditions are not met, you just have to go and do this, right? Then. Yeah. Then set start to create it, not actual end. Meaning to say from the time record has created you start the SLA. Yes, yes 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 what will be the pause condition state is uh, pending yes, just a second. state is pending or waiting is... right Act. so yes yes, yes. So what do we do? Do we have anything else? To say this? Let's say all on hold. Did we configure all on hold? Once. No, we don't have an on hold. No. Mm. Wait, we will configure that. What is the value of work in progress? Three, uh, seven. I'll give this as. Uh, three three is okay. Uh, working purposes two, and I'm going to put on hold as uh, eight. Okay. 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 But I'll only we did change the table table name. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll change it. I don't have the feasibility to change it here. See? Yes, yes. Thinking, I'll yes. configure everything else and I'll put I think. Right. So mm -hmm. and this is going to be table five. Okay, now let's see what we have. Done. So, see, I'll give you uh, if uh, probably if I get some week time in the weekend, right? I'll give you the requirement again once again thoroughly so that yeah, yeah, yeah. you can practice. Yes, right? Yes. Whatever we learned, you can recreate and practice. This is yeah, purely, yeah. purely custom development, and also you can see the same functionality in incident problem change. That's why I didn't paste it upon incident problem change because you will not learn that much. <laughs> We will take that yeah. only into consideration and see if it's working. Like, for example, the notification that we saw, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, then uh, in SLA, now to be have on hold. Okay. And um, let me first save this. Okay. Then we okay. will reload and then get a on hold. Okay. 
चेन्नई से आने के बाद माल पूरा खतरा कर लिया वो लोग माल से खतरा कर लिया वो लोग घर आने के बाद के बाद माल को सही नहीं किया Now what is boss condition that state is on hold right yeah yeah okay we can and when i am going to say when to resume when the pause conditions are not met same thing because i already have a pause condition defined and i am yeah, yeah. going to say when it should resume pause conditions are not met i don't have to explicitly say do something for the resume conditions if if this is the opposite of it then you resume it right yeah, yeah. if state is not on we are going to resume the conditions then next please stop conditions when do you think the sla should get stopped once the ticket has been resolved yes so state could be what false result yeah false right okay. maybe see if i why i am not saying resolved you can also have resolved but i can say closed because the moment the result see the let's consider not one hour and the the uh, i mean like you know the ticket has been resolved within 20 minutes of time right yeah so when i stop the sla from there 20 minutes of time and if someone wants to reopen that request it's not good right yes yes i can the uh, sla clock yeah. will start from zero start again so again it will give yes. them one hour so i don't want to do that so you would stop it when the sla is uh, state is not closed okay and so for p1 yes and for p1 issues how much time it will take for closing the state to even our is 1 hour so that's why i gave 1 hour right our condition yeah yeah no 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 my con like uh, we will resolve the case right but uh, the state uh, should change to closed after some time right so what will happen after 1 hour i have defined uh, completely defined right so sla yes, will get completed completely right it will not okay, stop okay, okay. it will okay. it will get completed sla has okay. been completed but okay. we should not be able to i mean like stop means in sense it should get inactive right yes 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 so in resolution only if i finish that in 20 minutes i have another 40 minutes pending i should like yes, keep yes. going because that will get con in contradictory here right yeah, yeah 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 okay yeah so this is reset condition we don't have to do anything in here for resetting reset condition is cancel existing task sla see whatever the sla that you write here that the that, that word that gets attached to our asset management table right it yes, gets yes. be there in the sla task sla tables task underscore sla table there it okay. get attached right so you will have to see that now we have configured this now let's see let's see let's create an incident uh with ours i mean i i hope you are able to follow right i mean yes, am i yes, confusing yes, yes. Yeah. No, no, no. And Pawani, like, uh, if you want to inform the team that uh, Pio mm -hmm. A or B has been arrived to our group, so again yeah. we need to write the not uh, email notification, why? right? Incident. Why? Because no. Why will we write? Because as soon as the incident is created, don't you think we will have the notification running? The incident has been created to this group and been assigned. So that yes, uh, team will get yes yes the team will get yeah. Uh, okay okay yeah see incident will get created notification is triggered SLA in the simultaneously will get attached okay okay right now from yeah. here I want to do one basic thing do we see SLA here no 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 we need to so what should we do configure we need to configure form layout configure. and no not form layout we will get the SLA the records okay. that we are able to see from a different table i told sla will sit on the task sla table yes 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 so the records that we want to see on a different table we will configure that from the related list meaning to say we are creating relationship between tables okay right now we already have something called as task sla task that is already there we are going to configure that now let's see see we have sla right yeah but we have nothing attached because we haven't created the priority is not this all right yeah yeah, yeah. 
do we have priority one yeah now let's create something like this person and i'm explicitly creating p1 because we don't have the data lookup definitions but practice yes, is okay great data lookup yeah. definitions and uh, what is the required date? required date i'm going to set some random date right. let me see if the sp is attached Yes, yes, yes. It is attached, right? It is in progress, and one hour is the business time left, and it will lapse. Now, see here, if you want to see any details pertaining to the SLA, I told you that it sits in the task SLA table, right? So this is yeah. the SLA definition that it took up, correct? Okay. Because yes. since we are admin, it will take us to this condition. But I want to see the SLA record of this thing. So what do you do? Uh, Click on the SLA, okay? okay, not the resolution. So it will take you to the SLA record definition, okay, definition. Yes, yes. But here it will take you to the SLA task SLA table. There you can see, see, start time is this when it started, right? Stop time would be what? Once this gets breached, it would stop, right? I mean, once yes, that yes, gets yes. good, then breach time is what? Like you know, ten hours from now. I am not sure why it is taking ten hours from now. This is 28, 22, 10. Okay, 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 okay. This is the schedule. You see, because here one hour will be the business time that has left. One hour is the oh. excess coming, I mean, left business time. And they yes, go for, uh, I mean, they are out of business hours. Then again, from when it is going to get breached. <laughs> again, it will be right. under business hours, right? From business, business hours. Business hours only, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, the total time, it is not saying the SLA time, the total time from here to there, yeah? Yes, yes, yeah. So then, yeah, all of these things you can see, SLAs are getting attached. And what is that that thing that I wanted to show you? So, I mean, you are okay with SLAs, right? Can you configure yes, SLA yes, for yeah. these hours? For these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. If I say eight hours, you will configure eight hours. If I say 16 hours, the business time is like, see, I will tell you the business working hours is It's not going to be this eight to five only. So if I say eight to five, it is nine hours, right? Yeah. So it is one year. What sorry, one hour. Now here, if I say eight hours, so it would be eight to four, correct? Yes. Yeah. Any day eight to four. Then if I say one day, how do you how are you going to convert this? Like one we we are having. Day. Like uh, according to the business hours, it will be nine hours, so it will be like uh, one. No, uh, yeah, nine hours. So if I'm saying one day, right? Yeah, yeah. So how many uh, hours are you going to put? 24 hours, right? 24 hours, correct. Eight to five is nine, right? Yes, yes. What is the pending time that you have left? 15. Two days is like uh, 18. 18. 18 hours. And another pending day is how many? Uh, six we have. Seven. Right? Yeah. Six. Yeah, yeah. Six we yes, have. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah, now, six, here, six. if you are defining an SLA, what I would say is one day you're going to put here. Right? So, what yeah. that will take into consideration is one day. Right? Okay, fine. One day it takes. Meaning to say it will take 24 hours. Now, if you want to put two days, means it will you will put two days. Now, again, but if they say priority two is sixteen days, sixteen hours means where you are going to put? In hours, uh, remaining. Yes, hours. One hour, one day, sixteen hours. Sixteen hours, yeah. And if they say um, uh, priority P2 is 30 hours means then what we are going to do we are going to put one day six hours yes 
one day and six hours right correct yeah, yeah. confusing no 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 okay and pawni for sls notifications are also linked by default or uh... yeah SLS notifications are linked by default. I mean, like, what kind of SLA are you looking for? Are you saying the incident has been created to the specific group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so that P1, is coming from especially the, for yeah, that is coming from the notifications only, right? Saying that it's SLAs are created. This notification, right? Now it will okay. be ticking. Okay. Now in this SLA workflow, it will it will see if if it is fifty percent, it is going to give a trigger. Uh, it is going to get trigger to assign to person that it is 50 percent why are you not working 70 percent one more notification to them and the manager okay. Okay, another okay. notification would be to that uh, when it is breaching it would be to their manager and the assigned to person now i show the workflow here this they have done in flow design i'll show the workflow workflow is something you call if you take from workflow editor okay let's see something from SLA. See, default SLA workflow. Here it is default SLA flow. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I I said right. I want to trigger the. See the same thing they have configured in flow. Okay. Okay flow designer but the same i mean like in work we we were doing things with workflow let me configure the form layout i'll just get the workflow here need workflow see i have workflow where is this hidden now Here, I could say this workflow. Same thing has configured in flow design. And you can just compare this out of the box. But I'll show you how they have done. I'm going to put default uh, SLA workflow. Okay. Let's see yeah. a second. Uh, this is checked out. When we come to workflow explicitly, probably if you want, we can create the same workflow. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. So in, I just want to take it through the real-time scenario. What was I doing? Mm. Where is the SLA record? Not this one. Okay, I'm going to take this. I'm just getting hit in now. We used to have workflow, but I'm trying to get the workflow. It is getting disappeared. Let's see. Uh, probably if I have to clear something in the flow and then workflow. Okay. We have a value here hmm, to clear that.
incident is getting cloud driven what I'm trying to attach this workflow, this workflow that you see to this record, okay? Okay. So I took away the flow, but though I have configured the workflow uh, in the form layout, it is clearing, it is not showing up from some reason. Uh, just let me just, if I go to the list layout of this, one second. Sorry. And I go to the list layout of this. Create it or update it by this. Okay, can I get the flow? Flow, flow, flow. Yes. So here I'll put default SLA. Okay. See. With the upgrade, few things have changed, which even, uh, to, this is the first time that I saw the flow was getting attached to the SLA. All this while I was seeing the workflow was getting attached. Now see. Okay. Okay, now if I create, here it was giving, in, uh, in here it was giving resolution, this type, right? Now let's create another one. But one thing to keep in mind is flow designer is not consistent now. Okay. Okay. People use flow designer, but it is not consistent. So most of the people are not using flow designer as of now because you know what? It cannot go beyond few conditions. Like, you know, after two, three while loops, it cannot go beyond that. Okay. Okay. See, the SLA gets attached. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But it will be workflow driven, not the flow designer. Okay. And from where we can uh, create these workflows like again? In workflow editor. So I will take it through the next session. I was about to take it. See, show SLH. See, if you see show workflow, okay. it will take you to this workflow. I mean, like from now, it is C. It is C. Now, see, it is there. It is waiting here. Right? Yes, yes, yes. This is the same thing that we saw. Okay. If you want, we can configure the same thing once again as the workflow yeah, yeah. and then we can work. Yeah. Should that yeah, be yeah, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. So now we will see. Now, see, uh, where was I? I'll think. See, now it is waiting here. See, it will wait for 50% of SLA duration. Means till 50% it will wait and then wait, it will trigger a notification saying that I told you, right? It will notify yeah, the yeah. assignment. Then yeah, it will yeah. wait for 70, 50 plus 25 is 75. Yeah, yeah. It has a timer, right? It will wait. When it reaches 75, uh, 60, 60 minutes of 75 is how much? Hmm. 60 plus probably 75. Probably 45, 45 minutes, right? Yeah. On yeah. 40, 50 minutes, it will have a timer set. Then it will notify assignee. It is 75% you're not work. I mean work. When it becomes 60 minutes, then it is creating notifying assignees and assignees manager. Okay. Okay. Right. We will, for as workflow, we will configure the same thing, SLA. Yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah. should be fine. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, we have few things pending. That is uh, workflows. We have, we have um, UI actions. We have imports, import sets and uh, reports. Right. Okay as part of this class and I have to take one mock for you. I want to see where and you, uh, modules, I mean, like, where and modules, modules, incident change, what? incident change and uh... incident change, like same thing, right? If I do one workflow for same thing, I have to attach okay. the same thing, right? I mean, notification is also same thing. Business rule is also same thing. UI action okay. is also same thing because I didn't want to do anything in explicitly in incident is because Okay, okay. I mean, we like, already like, have the, uh, uh, yeah, we already have things there, right? Yeah, yeah. Like in general, I'm, uh, I'm like mm -hmm. asking you for uh, module, uh, module size. That's it. Not with the workflows. 
work i mean like model i i i mean like you want me to take you through incident problem change once again like in detail like what's the role of the admin in those modules like is there any admin will not the... be the person who's handling the ticket admin is the guy who will develop things yes 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 right? but uh, like so, uh, just want to know for the interview question purpose only i want to know like uh, mm -hmm. what was the main uh, perspective of as an admin in those modules like in general we will get a question for that as well like admin but, right no 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 you will not get such questions to be very honest admin is the guy see you and i are admin having admin yeah, yeah. Because, because we yes, develop yes. things right yes, yes, now yes, yes. itil person will be working on incident Right? Yes, yes. Like yeah. problem manager will be working on problem. Yes. Change yes, coordinator yes. will be working on change. But admin, yes, we yes. as admin, we don't work. But actually, I'm getting these questions. The... Yeah, I'm getting oh, these it? questions in rem in remedy as an admin. Uh -huh. Remedy admin, I'm getting these questions like, uh, have you worked uh -huh. on change or incident modules so far? Like this, like these questions. In remedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For remedy admin. Okay. I but don't know like in... why they are asking. Uh, yeah, but do you see? i am admin do you see i'm handling incident no right we have incident. no 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 itl person see itl person the basic role is itl person you roll, read about roles once okay go to community yeah, yeah. Read so, roles. i'm for yeah, sure yeah. you will get confused it's not that you know i'm not at all saying anything about that because i'm happy you're asking such questions go to community see the rules see yeah, yeah, yeah. now you put in community like what are so the our roles? our part is only to provide the user particular role right if a, if a person change uh, manager or change person who is going to work on change so we need to give the master roles right so if a manager yes. came to us like if, if the yes. uh, user want instant master role so we we will provide the particular role to the user that's it right we don't have any yes, configuration part no 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 models. we don't have no no we don't okay. have configuration okay. means we will say we will develop we will check if the incident application is working as expected right Along okay. with that, our client will say in the incident model, give the ITL role to the specific number of users. Then you create, if you have that group, first you add those users to the specified group and you see if they have ITL, right? And Pawni, for uh, uh, like uh, LDAP integrations and all, uh, how to import LDAP bulk data? No, LDAP integration will not work. We will work on instance to instance integration and we will create one incident from the third party tool okay and uh, for okay. bulk data for bulk importing of users and uh, those things how we can do like uh, bulk imp that is import set right suppose like uh, uh, if yeah for, from ad like uh, if you are configuring to uh, like initially the account will be created in ad and from yes. Active Directory to service now, uh, we need to link somewhere, right? If you are having so, details. So, as developers, we are not going to include the users in the system, in the client system. Yes, it's always like, their internal yeah, yeah, yeah. employee who will import the users in the service now system. Okay. Okay, but, but as we will an admin, see how, yeah, but, yeah. 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 But no, I, I, even as an admin, I will not have explicit privileges in the system. Like, you know, I cannot connect this to the third, I mean, like any other, as I, I am the developer consider. I haven't okay. worked on, I'm not sure if you are getting this requirement, but to be very honest with you, I, am not, I haven't worked on integrating with AD to import the users. It is there. Like in Vodafone, we will have other the other set of IT employees who will be handling this. Okay, side. okay, okay. But I can see that if I create an incident from a third party tool, the same incident is creating or not. Yes, yes. Right. So that is that is something as a developer that I will be supposed supposed to do, right? Yeah, yeah. But integrations, uh, I will teach, see, see, there are many types of integrations like web integration, tool integration, LDAP integration, SSO uh, integration. Out of that, I will no. teach you web integration, like, you know, data processing integration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But see, integrations, again, I'll tell you, it is a good topic to learn. It is a vague topic to learn, but... Yes, if you would ask me now, you need to stress on the basics. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. right? Basics yeah. is something 
it's no this is on a friendly road i am telling basics is something that we need to you know keep touch up on because yes if you yes. know how to trigger workflow for sla you will also know how to create workflow for some other thing right SLA. yeah yes yes so uh so these are the things that we need to uh, take into consideration if we know how to configure notification we know no matter how many modules comes we know notifications if we know to do the schedule job we know right variables yes. we know so basics are the things that we need to stress upon integration to be very honest in my uh, experience i have hardly worked on two integrations at the max okay integration is not the only thing that's used in service now there are so many yes 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 yeah yeah, so, yeah but and for, for for integrations yeah yeah for interview purpose uh, like uh, can you give me some overview so that i can if any question like oh, those yeah. come like i can at least uh, tell the basic scenario how we the can basics. do how we can achieve the integration yeah scene. i'll i'll do one thing i'll copy the content and i'll ask these people to share it with you would that be okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah like sure. you know uh, for for if how many experience how many years of experience you're saying that you have like in uh, in between 1.5 to 2 only not more than 2 only right then based on that i will yeah, yeah. Uh, train it and i will give you a mock i'll train we we'll see how it goes yeah yeah yeah. Okay. yeah 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 okay okay today i'll see if i can join with them like at 9 o'clock i've been trying by yeah, yeah, sure, sure. continuous calls if i can join at 9 o'clock we'll go for the other topic if not um, tomorrow i'm not sure tomorrow if i have to think if i have are you free tomorrow in the morning like around 